We're Cheddar Creative, we're the three core partners. I'm Cassie, this is Rich, and this is Yaz. And we're based in Ipswich at Unibond Studios, and we're also part of the tech cluster at Innovation and Marshallstrom. So we mostly work in UX design. We're a digital design agency, uh, which means we kind of do things like web design, software, digital products, but we also get involved in marketing uh, and social media as well. Yeah, it's kind of brand strategy yeah. really, so kind of bigger picture, uh, where do you want to go as a brand, what's going to help you get there, um, how do you connect with customers in a meaningful way. Um, yes, yeah, so it's, it's kind of creative problem solving, essentially a business will come to us with a particular problem that they're trying to solve and then we will figure out the best way of, of doing that. So yeah, we've got some very ambitious growth plans for 2020. Uh, as Cassie mentioned, we've recently joined Innovation Marshallsham. The main reason for that is there's loads of cool things being done up there, like some amazing tech. Um, and those companies are great at the code, the, the kind of back end, but they don't necessarily think about the user experience and the actual kind of front end design. And that is very much our specialist area. So we're really keen to partner with those companies so that we can both play to our strengths. So something else we're really excited for in 2020 is the potential to open a second base of operations in South Africa. Um, Africa is open for business and there's huge potential for businesses in the region to trade with Africa and vice versa. And I'm from South Africa originally, so I've been over a couple of times and made a few connections. So we're really excited to see where that goes and, and the growth prospects. So how is the digital creative sector changing? Well, it's it's changing in lots of different ways and it's changing quickly from, from week to week. So there's tons more data, like more data than there's ever been. So that data is being funneled into internet of things applications um you know smart intelligence systems like there's there's just all sorts going on and, and technology is really kind of leading the way with a lot of that stuff um but it, it also design has got a bigger seat at the table which which you would think perhaps if everything's going more tech that design and the kind of fluffy stuff actually falls by the wayside but we're seeing businesses actually using design as a management strategy and really embracing creativity and i think we're going to see more and more chief design officers you know at board level which is great news for us yeah so uh, on a personal level for me as well coming out of university and going into the creative industry it was there were a lot less roles I would say or a lot less kind of defined types of roles so it was more about just being a web designer or a graphic designer whereas now there's a lot more things like UX designer, UX researcher, information architects, motion designers, interaction designers and everything beyond and I think with the emergence of um, new technologies that will just keep continuing to grow and diversify. We definitely noticed that um, AI automation, augmented reality, uh, machine learning, these things have all been around for quite a while and they're going to continue to develop. Um, I think that there will be an increase in experiential marketing going forward as people get a bit frustrated and tired with being on their phones all the time. So we see a lot of quite exciting trends emerging this year. 5G is going to be a game changer. Uh, I think when that network is rolled out, it's just going to enable all sorts of new possibilities in, in terms of you know, creative and, and advertising, holographic ads, um, interactive ads. You know, there's going to be a lot of things that, that 5G um, facilitates. AR, I think, is going to blow up. Um, Facebook has recently acquired a company called Scape. Um, they are mapping the world in 3D to centimetres of accuracy. So if Facebook have bought that company, that suggests maybe the future of Facebook is going to be more of an augmented reality experience. Maybe, I don't know, like Google glasses where you walk into a room and you see your friends and it's all kind of, you know, very space age and a bit black mirror. Um, so if social media and Facebook is going to you know, really lead the way with AR, then everything else is going to follow suit. So I think something else that we've been seeing more of and that we'll continue to see more of are brands using socially responsible and sustainable design practices to build brand equity and to do some good in the world as well. I think we're already starting to see customers becoming a lot more discerning as to what they pay attention to, um, especially on social media um, and in the newsfeed. I think brands will have to get a lot more creative with what they put out to customers and I think the pushy messages that are very sales driven and don't provide any value aren't going to get noticed. 
So yeah, Norfolk and Suffolk is a great place to be located, both professionally and from a, a personal viewpoint. Um, there's lots of talent available locally. Um, it really isn't true anymore that the brightest and best all disappear to, to London. You know, lots of people are kind of staying in the region. There's lots of networking events and, you know, creative meetups, like just generally lots going on. Um, opportunities to collaborate, um, lots of co-working infrastructure starting to appear which is obviously very, very cost effective, very affordable. So if you're starting a business, like everything's there for you to take advantage of. Well, we have just introduced a work experience programme and we're looking to introduce an intern programme. Um, we want to work with the local universities, inspire Suffolk, um, you know, start nurturing talent from quite a young age and, you know, hopefully kind of showing them what we do, getting them really interested so they don't end up just kind of getting qualified and then going off to London. Um, you know, we're very keen on nurturing talent from a grassroots level. And it's also really easy to get to places like London or Cambridge or really the, the rest of the UK because the transport links are great. Um, so that means we can take business from London and Cambridge and we can take talent from there as well. Um, there's also the ports, so you've got Felixstowe, um, where there's a lot of business going through there um, and that obviously brings quite a lot to the region I would mm, say. I think import and export is massive mm. in the region and actually having kind of lower stock in Felixstowe and you know some of the other ports really really useful. Yeah, yeah. so there's definitely got, there's definitely a lot going on especially in the tech and creative sectors and obviously agri-tech, health tech, clean tech these are all booming areas and we're perfectly positioned to be you know in the middle of it all. Mm, I think on a, on a personal level the Housing is very affordable, yeah. which um, obviously we're we're kind of two years into to a business, so you know you, you have to go through these these lean times, and actually having you know just a, a low cost of living is actually really yeah. valuable to us, and you know low crime. It's just generally a nice region to be in. Uh, so, yeah, so something else that we're doing at the moment is the New Anglia LEPS Silver to Gold Growth Program. Um, we're really excited to see what insights we can get out of that. Um, to help us with our growth plans for 2020 and what kind of opportunities that might bring for us.